Okay, everybody, so here is the third and final drawer of my untouchables, my limited edition items, just uh, special items that I just cannot bring myself to touch or swatch or anything because the pattern or the packaging is just too pretty to try to use. Um, so this is my third and final drawer, just kind of a mishmash of all sorts of brands that I just didn't put in the first two drawers that I uh film videos on already. In case you're new to my channel, my name is Lizzie, um, and I just wanted to share some of my collection with you and show you this is what I have. So thanks for watching, and this is actually my second time filming it because the first time um, I realized I was holding the compacts like kind of off camera, so I hope this one will be better. And excuse the lighting is in my bedroom, so I'm just trying to film this while the sun is out right now and hope to just get some good um, lighting for this video here. So um, let's get started. Like I said, it's just kind of a mishmash of um, brands in here that I just had some collectible pieces uh, for. So I'll just start here. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezi um, highlighter that came out. So I just could not bring myself to touch this. Um, I just thought the, you know, waves of the highlight powder were just so pretty. Um, now that they have released this as, um, I don't know if it's permanent, but they just re-released it. So Maybe I'll use it, maybe not, we'll see. But for now, I'm just keeping it as an untouchable. <laughs> this is the NARS Man Ray collection. So I got a few pieces from this collection. I really like how they did the packaging with this. Um, and this is the cheek palette here, the veil. So I might still use it. I just didn't want to ruin that lip imprint, but that's the bronzer, blush, and highlighter here. So, you know, maybe I can just use the top parts here for the future, but in the meantime, I just kept it as an untouchable for now. So that is the NARS Man Ray Cheek Palette. And here's another piece from the collection. Um, this is their highlighter in double take. So this one I can never use. It's just so pretty with those lip prints. Ugh, I love it. So I can never use that one. Um, I don't see anything else from NARS right now. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Norman Parkinson Collection. I... I don't know why I skipped out on this collection. I remember it being released and I remember just like, I think I was just getting into makeup and I just wasn't that crazy about it or into Charlotte Tilbury at the time or something, but I don't know. I can't believe I passed over it. So I found this piece on eBay, I believe, and this is just the highlighter. So I at least got this piece here and I, I love the packaging. I don't know what I was thinking. Um... Here is the Lancome Bronze and Glow. Um, I think this released this past summer. Yeah, so this like split pan here, bronzer, highlighter, and kind of, I just thought the packaging was pretty and the pattern on the design was really nice. And this one was from last year, I believe. Um, Lancome Belle de Tint Patio Mediterranean. Mediterranean? Yeah. Um, so it has like this kind of pattern in the powder with the split pan again and you could use it as blush or dip your brush in one or the other for highlighter or bronzer so just thought that was really pretty you're gonna hear me say pretty probably a lot <laughs> here is a Tori Birch compact um yeah she doesn't do makeup anymore so I found this from somebody on Instagram I believe so this is a little Tori Birch compact that I purchased from her and it's like a little powder, face powder there, blush, um, the Tory Burch, uh, imprint on there. So I really liked having this little compact from hers. Now she just does the fragrances. Um, this is the brand Edward Bess. They're sold at Neiman Marcus and department stores. Um, this is the marbleized rose gold highlighter. So it's just so pretty with the marble pattern and just haven't been able to dip my brush in there yet. Another Edward Best Threads of Silk. Oh, this one is really pretty. It's like it's kind of blush highlighter. You can swirl together. Oh, I just love that imprint. Oh, I do have a couple more NARS. This is the NARS Airdem blushes that um, I have the one of the eyeshadow palettes, so I do use that, and I have a couple, I think one of the lipsticks too. So I love the little flower. I wish it was put on the powder itself, but this is um, their blush powders that they released with the collection. I liked how they 
did the kind of matte gray packaging for it. So this is Love Me, and the other blush is Love Me Not. <laughs> so super cute. And this is just like a paler pink shade there. Uh, so these are my Givenchy Prisme De Libre, Prisme Libre powders, so in their special packaging. So this was, uh, I think this past spring. This might have been the holiday last year, this gold packaging. This was holiday this year for the Lunar New Year with the red and gold clovers. And this was the holiday last year, this red and gold packaging. So I just love the special packaging they do. I get their lipsticks too. That will be a whole separate video in itself. Here is the Givenchy um, Les Saison Floral Edition bronzer that released a couple years ago. When I saw this, I just could not wait to get it because of the really cute imprint the 3d floor imprint there so that's really cool i can never ruin that okay sorry i had to pause for a little bit because we're watching some dogs for the weekend and have to make sure that they're behaving themselves <laughs> so let's start here this is the um smashbox flotta collection that released so i love the rose print that they did and the rose gold packaging and they released three highlighters, so this is one of them that I got with this rose imprint on there. And then this one on sale. I couldn't believe it. Gilded Rose. And then I got the special one that released for Sephora only, so it has the different packaging here. I wish it still had the 3D rose on it. Um, and this is Prismatic Petal, so this is like more of a shimmery pink rose there. Oh, here's another Givenchy Mystic Glow Powder. Uh, oh, this released this year, so the star print. Here is another Givenchy Poudre Lumiere Original. I think this is like part of their permanent collection. So yeah, just that stunning print on the powder itself. I mean, it looks a little stiff to me. I feel like you would need maybe a stiffer brush if you were to use it because they probably had to press it really hard for the powder design, but I can never ruin that powder design anyway. Um, this is like the embossed black leather case. And this is the eyeshadow quad that came out, I think, this past fall. I'm not a big fan of their eyeshadows, but for the special casing, I will just get that. Here is... Sorry, it's Pippa. She is hitting the tripod. The black sequin case here and these star eyeshadows. I think this came out a couple years ago, so got that. This one is the shimmer powder, so I think it's the same as that other one. Yeah, except it's the highlighter version in a nice gold shade. And then this is their Bouncy Highlighter African Light Gold that came out this past spring. So it's a little bit different because it's the circle. And it has that kind of cool imprint on it. It's my Givenchy. Um, this is the Ciate Rainbow Highlighter. So I just thought this was super cute with the star imprints and the rainbow stripes there. When I first uh, ordered this, it actually arrived shattered from Ciate, so they replaced it for me. And then here's some Too Faced packaging that was just too cute. This is the rainbow strobe, so it's the little unicorn. And this rainbow on their highlighter that I could never pull off on my face. <laughs> and here's their Unicorn Tears bronzer. Yeah, iridescent mystical bronzer. So that's just really cute with the unicorn. I mean, people might find the unicorn theme childish but I think it's just cute and fun and just you know reminiscent of your you know girl childhood days here's the sweetie pie bronzer I heard this is a really nice kind of their bronzer or blush um but it has like the pie lattice and I just think it's super cute and adorable so I haven't been able to use this one Here's the Too Faced Diamond Light Highlighter. So this is when the first item that released um, last year, and then they released the whole Pretty Rich collection with two more shades. But I just got this one that has like the white with the 
pink and yellow kind of shifts running through it, marbleized. So I don't know if you could really catch that, but I'm going to light here a little bit. Lighting isn't that great. Um, this is the Too Faced I Want Candy Banana Pudding Powder. I actually got two of these, so one I have in my setting powders to use, and this one I just kept as a backup because it was on sale. And I just thought it was cute um, with the packaging and powder itself. There's that little speckles on there. Oh, here's the Peach Blur powder. The Sweet Peach Collection. Just thought that peach was really cute. Maybe I'll use it. I don't know. It's been so long since I've had it. Might as well just keep it for now. Unused. The Sweet Peach Glow. So same thing. I just couldn't bring myself to ruin these little peach imprints. And since it's been sitting in my collection for so long, I don't know why I would use it now. But maybe I will. Uh, let's see here. These are the By Terry... Gem Glow Trio Compacts. This is the one that released this year. I think the packaging itself is super cheap and just like this sticker stuck on it, but the powder itself with the print is super pretty. And the design that they create on the powder is really nice. Here's the one from last year. Preciosity. So like again, the packaging is super cheap and plastic, but the print is gorgeous. Those gemstones. And then all of my Becca powders that have the special kind of design on them that I collect. This is the Gradient Glow. So this is just like a mix of their highlighters. Pippa is panting in the sun. Sorry. So a mix of their highlighters. And I just like the design and pattern on those. So I kept that untouched. This is the Parisian Lights with um, Sananas. I don't know who that is. But I love this highlighter. This one is super pretty with that. Eiffel Tower, and it's a gorgeous, like, shimmery pink. So, I like that they're releasing all the city ones. This is the special champagne pop, I think, for the anniversary. So, it has the champagne bottle and bubbles. So, of course, I had to get that. This one is the Spanish Rose Glow. So, this is the one with the flamenco dancer. The rose pink shade. So, that's super pretty. Oh, this one is cool. It's the Dreamsicle, so it has the white packaging, and it has, like, this orange swirly pattern, so I got that. This is the, I don't even know, Endless Bronze and Glow. I don't know what this one is. Oh, so this is the one that released with, like, Chrissy Teigen, I think, one of her collections, and just has the sunrise and sand, and I like that. People don't really like when they use different powders in one pan because they feel like well I can't use it and get my brush in just one shade or I have to use all of them and I don't really care since I don't touch them <laughs> oh here's the um one that was released for the royal wedding with Meghan Markle it's the royal glow yeah I really like that crown stamp on there this is the ocean glow so this was released for Australia, so it has the surfboard and the wave. I just think that's so cool. And this one is the Berlin Glow. So this one, I didn't recognize the name of the beauty influencer on here, but just this print for Berlin. Oh, and then, sorry, I had this on my desk here. This is the most recent one that just released for Lunar New Year, Year of the Pig. So the cute little pig print on there that was, yeah, just called Year of the Pig. So that one I had to, of course, get. Oh, here's another by Terry. This was, I think, a couple years ago, Pearlescent Glow. I don't know if it was a holiday or not, but super pretty pattern. And then my Sisley. I just like the zebra packaging with the white, and it has this beautiful powder and plush towards the bottom so I got that and here's the orchid compacts um they just released a new shade but uh, since I have these two I don't think I'll get the new one since they're so pricey so this is like the coral peach shade here with that beautiful orchid and then this one yeah this is the pink one 
Can't use those. Oh, here's another Sicily. Another zebra print. Oh, this is the blush. So I probably, I probably will use this eventually. This is just a blush, but that zebra print on there. It's just you spend so much money on these items because they are so pricey. Just I don't know. And maybe it's just me. I just think it's so hard to use them because you know I know how much I spent on it. But I guess that's why you should use them because you did spend that money. <laughs> but they're just so pretty, so I like to admire them in my collection. Here is a clay de Poe luminizing face enhancer. So it just has like the faceted packaging and this pretty um kind of all over face powder highlighter. I think you could use it. They have multiple shades. And I just cut this shade, it's very sparkly in the sunlight. So here's another one that's not a limited edition, but I could, you know, use it. But because of the price and what I spent on it, I don't want to. So just another bad habit, I guess you could say. Or I could have worse habits, I think. <laughs> this is the Besame Cosmetics Pearl Shimmer Shell Compact that just released with their Mermaid Lagoon collection. So this is just the one item I chose from that collection right now. I'll see. They always seem to go on sale, so I'll see about... Maybe getting the eyeshadow palette or bronzer that also came with it, but I really like the pretty pearl shell. And then the powder has this little swirl pattern in it, which I think is really pretty. Oh, and I have a thing for skulls. So this is the Makeup Revolution Haunted Lights Highlighter. So I really like skull patterns. So I just got this when I saw it at Ulta. And I have a bunch of... um wet and wild ones that I'll show eventually when we get to them. Here is from Japan, so I can't remember. It's just the Snow Beauty Face Powder, but I can't remember the brand. Snow Beauty, huh? Oops. So this powder with snowflakes imprint on it. So that was ordered from Japan. Probably some brand I don't know anyway. The Kat Von D Metal Crush for her 10 year anniversary in Gold School. So I got this and the eyeshadow palette and the lipstick in the special case. So I just got it for collector's items. And anyway, I heard this highlighter was very chunky and glittery anyway. So I just got it for the packaging really. This is the Clay de Po um, Collection Nuit de Chine that was released last holiday for 2017. Uh, I just think this is gorgeous packaging with the painting. I think I want to say her name is Kathy Fraga or something. I can't remember. It's on I follow her on Instagram, but I really like her paintings and what she did for this collection itself. And it has the beautiful bird and flowers on the eyeshadows and blushes. So I thought that was stunning. I remember seeing this on Neiman Marcus and then I didn't see it online anymore and I panicked and called my local store and had them ship it to me. Um, but then it did come back online, so <laughs> I just freaked out and thought it was not coming back, so you just gotta be patient sometimes. And here are the eye crowns or um, liners that went with the collection as well. I'll probably use these, but I just, I don't know, I think the packaging is just super pretty. So once you use them and run out, then like, you're just left with this empty packaging, so I'm not sure, they give you five crowns, so super pretty for the set. This is my Charlotte Tilbury Gold Bar. Um, and now they have the Highlighter Trio that she released for this collection. So I have that, which I actually use. So I figured if I use that one, I could keep this one new. It's just so cute as a little bar of gold. Um, but mine actually is loose from the pan. I don't want to show you because if I flip it upside down, it'll just fall out. So that kind of sucks. But the single... <laughs> The Beauty and the Beast collection with Lorac. Um, I love Beauty and the Beast and just how they designed this collection here. So I only got the cheek palette here. I did not get the eyeshadow palette, but I just think the packaging is super pretty. And then powders themselves, these four pans. So just kind of kept it as a collector's piece, of course. Get it back. I do save most of the boxes for these pieces. I just, um, when I moved, I took them all out of the boxes because 
uh, I figured when they're in their boxes, I don't, I don't easily access them to, to take them out and admire them. It's just like they end up staying in their boxes and I don't even like bring them out. So I figured when I unpacked just to keep the boxes right now in storage in my garage and <laughs> that way I could actually see the pretty packaging and see the items and just be able to look at them more freely than before. This is a brand Floroso that I got from Japan. So it has the flamingos on the cover and the powder has like the little flamingo prints and palm leaves. So that's super cute in this uh, blush. And then the larger compact is the highlighter. So it has the same print, but in a highlighter shade. Uh, this collection with Rodan in the I don't know, kind of mermaid theme. So pretty. When I saw this online, I just like freaked out because I wasn't even like aware of this coming out or anything online. So I just saw it and I was like, oh my God, this is stunning. I need to get it. <laughs> so this was the only piece I did get from the collection. Um, but yeah, it's the only piece that really matters in my opinion with the mermaid and the seashells. So stunning. I haven't really tried too much of this brand, so maybe I will have to eventually get some more pieces and actually use them. This is Paul and Joe, um, a really cute brand. I like the snowbird pattern on the cover there, and the face powder is just like a regular face powder, but I thought the packaging was super cute that I got from Japan. Oh, here's the Too Faced Tutti Fruity Banana Powder. I just love the banana design and the banana print, so I haven't been able to touch that. This is my Tom Ford Night Bloom Powder and Solio Bloom. So it has the pink ribbed packaging. I have their other ones. I think they released a black one and a purple one. And I have those and I use those. So that's why they're not in this collection here. So I don't know why I'm just keeping this one untouched. But I just really like the packaging. So I haven't used it yet. But maybe I will. I just got the lipstick too at the Sephora sale because that sold out right away last year and I didn't think it would ever come back and then it did at during the Sephora sale so I was so excited and happy I could finally get it. Here is the By Terry uh, Eyelight Palette. So this is um, the one they released a couple years ago for Harrods so it's Harrods exclusive so I had to order it from Harrods and it has so all their eyeshadow shades with the Harrods building printed on there so I thought that was super cool and interesting how they put that on the shades and then they released one this year this is the Paris edition so this one I got from Barney's when I saw it online and I think it's actually the same eyeshadow shades um, that they just reused but now it has the Paris design with the Eiffel Tower and Louvre and that in print Uh, better not break anything. Here are my Clinique's uh, with Jonathan Adler. Um, so he made some collection with them just using their cheek pops with this special little geometric design, I guess. So I got a couple of those. That one was Plum Pop and this one is Peach Pop. So I have a couple of the regular compacts with the flower daisy, but I just wanted to get some from this collection here. This is the eyeshadow and cream pop. And another eyeshadow in Willow Pop. So that was cute. Here are the ColourPop Disney collaboration highlighters. So I got the PR box. And that's the first and only PR box I ever bought <laughs> uh, with ColourPop. So I just love the packaging with the Disney theme. But they did not include the highlighters. And so I had to get the highlighters separate. So this is part of your world. Um, with the Disney Castle. So this is nice pink. And you know, another reason why sometimes I don't or I can't bring myself to use these is because I always feel like, yes, I'm a collector now, but if I ever was to sell these items, you know, of course, I think they're just more valuable, new and untouched with their packaging. So I always kind of keep that in mind too, if I was to resell them. And then this shade here is a smile and a song. So 
So I am going through my collection and selling some of my gently used or unused makeup items. But for now, I don't think I've been able to pick out too much from my coat drawers here. This is the brand Etude House. It's a Korean brand. So I got this from, I think, Beauty Box Korea online. So I just thought the little nutcracker was really cute. And just a little kind of eyeshadow palette there. And this was also Etude House. So they had really cute packaging and they're pretty affordable. So the print on here was just super pretty with the hearts and lacing and kind of looks like embroidery almost so I had to get those two this is the Tarte um, goddess glow so I like the packaging and I like the imprint on this powder so I just got this here is the Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow quad in fallen angels so it has the stars on the cover and then the stars on the powder that I got from Beautylish so I haven't been able to use that I have a bunch of Kiko Milano that's super affordable. So I have these little eyeshadows with the like facet designs. I think this came out last year 2017 for um holiday. And then this was into the dark collection, so it has the flowers on the cover and this flower print for highlighter blush. And then these compacts were um, just super on sale, and I just like them. And it has, like, I don't know why equal signs, but um, highlighters and bronzers. Yeah, so they were just super cheap online. Another highlighter and another bronzer. This was the Victoria Beckham and Estee Lauder um, collab. So I sold the eyeshadow palette that she released and this was one of the single eyeshadows I just decided to keep I think the packaging is so luxe and heavy and this is bitter clove I think uh, yeah eye metal bitter clove so I kept this one and sold the palette itself on Macari here's another Paul and Joe little cute little packaging with the swans and just an eyeshadow with these star imprints from Japan. This is the Benefits California blush. So I thought the design was super cute and cool. And um, they included this in one of their blush palette boxes. So I'm using it in that palette. And just since I already had the single, I decided just to keep it since it has this pretty sun print and gold overspray. So I'll use the one in the palette and just keep this one new. And then this is a Dolce & Gabbana contour duo. So it has the flower jewels on the top there. Super heavy. And I got this from a buyer over in UK. So since Dolce & Gabbana is very um, easier to obtain over there, she sometimes will find me pieces over there and get them for me. So the powder and the bronzer. So she still had one of these in her inventory. And then this... Uh, compartment here has my other Dolce & Gabbana and Burberry so this one here is the red case and I don't know the illuminator collection edition oh yeah it has the like kind of Roman coin on there so this is the face powder I have been trying to find the bronzer with this collection but I have not been able to find that yet so I'm on the hunt for that eBay so I'm trying to stop searching eBay <laughs> this is the leopard print um bronzer blush so it has the actual leopard print in the powder oops and then, oh this one I got from the UK this was super sought after and coveted with the rose and oh, this blush is just gorgeous when you see it in the light it just has the prettiest pink shimmer to it so very pricey but just love having it in my collection and I can't close it there we go mm -hmm. be careful and not ruin the pattern that would just defeat the purpose 
Uh, this one is, oh, I don't know why this is my untouchables. I think I just missed it. Just accidentally put it in here. It's the eyeshadow quad in Mediterranean. Um, so I actually think I use this or will use this. So that shouldn't be in here. I think I just got confused. I'll put that with my eyeshadows. Oh, I love this one with this cover here. Kind of like Sicilian design. Yeah, the Sicilian bronzer it's called. So it's just the bronzer, but the case itself is gorgeous. It's like a colorful tiles that you'll find in Sicily. Oh, this is the Sicilian lace compact. So it has the lace on the packaging and then, ugh, I can't remember where I found this one. That's, this one might have been on eBay too. And now my Burberry compacts. I can't bear to touch. So this one here. The gorgeous silver flowers. This was the runway palette from. I don't know what year it was. I think I think I remember it being. Was it last year or two years ago? I can't remember. Uh, this one is the blush palette. It just says here. So this floral design, kind of three D pattern. I believe this one was actually last spring. Here is Silver Shimmer, so I think this was holiday last year with the silver bow, which is very chic and sleek and beautiful. This is the Gold Shimmer in Gold Glow, so it has the gold packaging for holiday and it has the gold bow and powder. Beautiful. London with Love. So the Pretty heart with Burberry in the heart center. Blush. Burberry First Love. Oh, I love the multiple hearts on this one. I actually got two of these. One for backup, but I did give it away to a friend. <laughs> so I do give makeup away, <laughs> you know, if I can. So since this just doesn't have any use sitting here in my collection, if I have two. Uh, and I can't bring myself to use it. This is the Rose Gold Fresh Glow Highlighter. So this is, I think, permanent in their collection. But I just love that intricate pattern. So I couldn't use it. I think I actually have another one of those two in another shade. We'll come across it. Silk and Bloom Blush Palette. It's stunning. Looks 3D. Spring Summer Runway Palette 2015. Oh yeah, the Rain or Shine. Very classic Burberry compact there. There we go. Pink Pearl. Oh yeah, so the same as the other one, only a different shade. So maybe I'll eventually use one of them. The Doodle palette. This I think you could still find on bonbon.com. Super vibrant pink, that kind of fun doodle pattern. <laughs> this one here, London with love. So this is the bronzer, gold. My Burberry and Dolce. And then some more here. This is Orbe. So they make a bunch of hair products, but I got one of their face palettes here so it has the trio powders I probably should use this or sell it I'm not really crazy about it anymore so we'll see about that one. Oh, this is the Westman Atelier that is a new brand that came out on Barney's so this is the only piece that I got it's a very luxury brand it has a little leather pouch here super luxe this compact is very weighty and gold round compact let's figure out how to open it there we go so it's a bronzer with these little hearts on it, so I just had to get this piece. <laughs> Put it back. Yeah, I'm interested to try some of their other items, like I think they have a foundation or something or a highlighter, so maybe I'll get one of those and actually use it since it doesn't have the pretty print. 
This is the Clarins Bronzer Compact. So this has the flamingos on the packaging and pattern on there. This one I think came out this past spring and then this one was from last year. So the palm leaves. More palm leaves on there. I actually got two of these, um, but I just recently sold one on Mercari. So getting rid of my duplicates because I can't use them. So let's see here. This was Besame Cosmetics, the Snow White collection. So I just got the powder because of the little compact here. So it's just a face powder, but the little compact itself is super cute. Disney. This is a brand Lise Watier, I think is just in Canada. So I got this from a friend in a gift exchange. So glittery packaging and then the print on there with the glitter. So cute. So that's a brand I really wish I could get here easily in the U.S. Here's Jill Stewart. Pretty silver compact. I got this from a nice little blue brush from Japan. So it has this really delicate blue floral pattern. So put this back in. Like I know the plastic is supposed to protect the powder, but sometimes if you don't set it right, it could actually just damage it. So I don't want that. This was another compact I ordered from Japan, Sekise, Precious Snow. So maybe that was the other brand that I couldn't find on that compact with the snowflakes. So this one, pretty powder design. And then my Wet n Wild, this is the Moon Tears Loose Highlighter with the skull. So I haven't used that yet. Uh, Carl Lagerfeld and Model Co. This collaboration was just a disaster and I heard the products were kind of crappy. So... Anyway, but I got this highlighter and I kept it new since it has that 3D kind of print on there. I have the eyeshadow palette for the packaging with the cat, but I heard the quality of the shadows is actually just awful. Just kept it for the packaging and now on my Wet n Wild, the Mega Glow highlighting powder. So they're all sealed so I haven't broken the seal with the heart. This is the one pink with the skull. I don't know if you can see that. Another one with the white skull. This is the fire and ice collection. So this is the winter falls in LA. This is the bronzer. You're dragging me down the dragon print. Another skull highlighter. These were super on sale. I think around Halloween time. Another one. I would never wear black highlighter. So I don't know why I got these just because they were so cheap. Another one. This is the flights of fancy collection. So it has the hummingbird on them. So I got all three of the blushes. These look really pretty, so I would be tempted to use these eventually. And then their gold bar highlighters that they just released. So I ordered three of the shades from the website there. I haven't broken into those yet. This is the mermaid highlighter. I think I got this off Ulta when it came back. From there and then all four of the elements highlighters I wouldn't use these like when would I ever wear that for a highlighter but just got all four earth air wind and fire so that is my last and final drawer for my untouchables I do still have a few like just some pieces that I keep on display um, around my beauty room I have my untouchables Mac collection still to go through and then the lipsticks with the special packaging, limited edition packaging that are elsewhere in my collection. So those will all be done at a later date that I'll show you. But yeah, this was the last drawer here. So that was it for my untouchables. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me and watching these. And I hope, you know, you saw some pieces that were new and you've never seen before. And um, next should be my highlighter declutter. Um, mini declutter <laughs> and collection. So I plan to show those videos. I think there'll be two videos for those coming up next. Thanks so much, you guys. I would really appreciate it if you, if you subscribe to my channel and that would just mean so much to me since I'm just a small little 
YouTube gal trying to just share my love of makeup and my massive collection with everybody. <laughs> Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.